When finding horizontal asymptotes, one must concern themselves with the degree of the numerator, that is the highest power on the variable in the top of the fraction, and the degree of the denominator, the highest power on the variable in the bottom of the fraction. These guidelines for finding horizontal asymptotes refer to the degrees of the numerator and denominator. First, if the numerator's degree is smaller, less than the degree of the denominator, then there is always a horizontal asymptote and it is at y equals zero. For example, in the function y equals x squared plus five over x to the third plus five, the degree of the denominator is bigger, the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, so there is a horizontal asymptote at the line y equals zero. Second, if the degree of the numerator and the denominator are the same, if the highest power on the variable in the top and the bottom are equal, then there is a horizontal asymptote and it takes the form y equals the coefficient of the leading term in the numerator over the coefficient of the leading term in the denominator. For example, in the equation y equals x squared plus 7 over 2x squared plus 5. In this case there's an x squared, the degree of the numerator is squared and the degree of the denominator is squared, so there is a horizontal asymptote and it occurs at the leading coefficient of the numerator is a 1, it was 1x squared in the numerator, and the leading coefficient in the denominator is 2, there was a 2 in front of the x squared, so there would be a horizontal asymptote at the horizontal line, y equals 1 half. So we've discussed in the first bullet point what happens if the numerator's degree is less than the denominator's degree, and in the second point we talked about if they're the same. The third point is if the numerator's degree is greater than the denominator's degree. And in this case, there is no horizontal asymptote.